Well, hello, and welcome back to Bowtie Life. I'm Bowtie Dave, and a lot of times we talk about gardening, and uh, I do a lot of gardening in my life. I really enjoy it. Um, I've, I've, I've had a lot of success the past few years, and and feel like uh, um, I'm getting gaining from it and being productive from it. And uh, but this morning is funny because I just I was just watching Scott Head channel on YouTube, and uh, he mentioned that another YouTuber um, had put out the challenge. What other hobbies do you gardeners do? And and my first thought was, and, and, and this is when I was naming this channel Bowtie Life, I thought, okay, we'll call it Bowtie Gardening or something like that. And I thought, no, my life isn't just gardening. My world isn't just gardening, though it's a big part of it. But there's other things in there too. And so that's why I called it Bowtie Life because sometimes if you've watched any of my videos, you know that... We get off on little tangents occasionally, and that's okay. Uh, that works. And uh, we're, we're really here just sharing our lives and, and the things that we're learning, and hopefully people that watch can learn something, be inspired to do something, um, maybe just be encouraged to do something that uh, they hadn't done before. And uh, frankly, you know, if one person tries growing a plant uh, after watching some of our videos, that, that, that just thrills me to death. Uh, I really do these videos more for a personal information, kind of my log for the garden. Uh, I am not really good at writing things down on paper, but I can record a video, and I enjoy it. So, um, anyway, this video is going to be more about hobbies and other things, what to do when I'm not gardening, because, no, I don't garden every waking hour. I do other stuff, and... Uh, so um, that's what this video is, and it's a part of the challenge. What else do the gardeners do? What other hobbies do you have? And uh, I'd like to stretch that out to you. You can comment in the description in the comments below, or uh, make your own video if you wish. Uh, but uh, share some of your life. So let's get on with it. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. You know, Mrs. Bowtie and I, we enjoy uh, entertaining people, having people over. Uh, this season, we've, of course, we've, we're in our new house. We bought this house a little over a year ago now, and uh, we've invited people over for meals that just may not have a place to go for a holiday. In fact, uh, we may have uh, 15 people in our house on Christmas Day. Uh, we really enjoy being able to provide a place for people, and... Um, when we do that, I feel very strongly that it's important to make a welcoming environment where people feel like it's special. And one of the things we do, we do a lot of decorating. So yeah, we like to decorate our house, our new house. <laughs> We're just so blessed to have this house because it fits our needs so well. And uh, so one of my favorite things to do is when uh, Mrs. Bowtie gets off to work, um, I will take a day off from my work, which I'm a handyman. I will take a day off from my work and I'll do decorating. So we have our Dickens Village up here, which is significantly smaller than it used to be. We used to have a lot more uh, buildings for our Dickens Village, but um, we had a burglary uh, four or five years ago and lost about half our village. So this is what we currently have left, but over the years, we've we've got a little quirky with it. Yeah, I know it's a little fun. Uh, we, we like bringing joy to people and, and doing little things. And what, like one of the things here, I don't know if you can see right here, there's a dinosaur in our uh, uh, Dickens Village. There's some army men up here fighting the dinosaur. There's another dinosaur back over here um, with a couple of the uh, heroes from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy protecting uh, people from the uh, the little uh, uh, dinosaur that's in there, and so that actually started 
one of our kids years and years ago, 15 years ago maybe, uh, probably even more than that, ended up playing with his little soldiers in the uh, um, Dickens Village, and we just thought that was awesome, so we started to add little things to it, and you, you can actually see some videos. I might have to put, repost a video to this channel um, with uh, some of our past Christmases that are humorous like that, but you know, just letting people know that they're special, and they belong, and they're welcome, and just bringing joy to people's lives is just, in our opinion, so very important. So really that becomes, in our lives, a hobby. And uh, we just, every time we have people over, uh, every time we create a gathering, I just always felt like we really need to make this special. And, and uh, it doesn't have to be still memorable, but you know, you put some extra effort into it and people feel that and people enjoy that. And uh, that's, that's a very important hobby for both, both uh, Mrs. Bowtie and myself. I might like to be able to say that one of my hobbies is gardening, and I suppose it really is. I do see hobbies in a special way, and I, uh, I do like, not so much for my hobbies to make money, but to be productive, to bring joy to people's lives, as I mentioned in my first hobby. And uh, this garden ministry at our church here uh, and yes, we actually have a garden ministry started by one of the new members. Um, but uh, this garden ministry has really taken off. We have a lot of foot traffic at our building all week long. And uh, we, uh, we tend to get a lot of people that need help. And, and people are generally out here in the garden between two and four days a week doing something. And... Uh, Sometimes it's just someone walking up and needing some prayer. Sometimes it's actually a lot more than that and we can provide help with clothing or, well, we actually have a medical clinic at our church building, full medical clinic that we uh, host. It's uh, medical care for the working uninsured. But no, this is not my work. This is the work of the gardening ministry, of which I am a part of, but I do extra things like put up stone work and towed in compost. You've seen in another video where I've gone and picked up compost and shoveled it in. And well, this is a big old pile of uh, compost. Started out as about three yards of compost back here. It goes all the way back around there. I also have done this stone work. One of these days I'd like to have uh, the fellow who started this on video just to, for a sit down interview because he is an absolute wealth of knowledge and experience. The kind of person that any gardener would just love to ask questions. So if you watch any of many of my videos, you may have uh, heard me mention my uh, daughter-in-law that uh, is a content creator. Whew. Just found an irrigation pipe. <laughs> Gonna have to avoid that. Always concerned about that when digging holes. But, uh, so it's interesting how people come into your life and, uh, influence you. And, uh, our boys came into our lives at the age of three and five. And certainly influenced us as they grew up, as anybody will. 
But uh, our oldest son married very, well, I tell you what, they both married very impressive girls. Our oldest son married an impressive girl that has some very strong beliefs about God, about mental health, about Jesus. And she is just a real inspiration. And I always wanted to figure out a way that I felt comfortable and felt led that I could share my beliefs in a way that wasn't pushy, in a way that really is just friendly. And that woman showed me a way to do that in her content creation. And I, I, I can't remember her exact tagline, but it was uh, all the great things about Jesus and mental health. And something and more about mental health mental health and all the good things about Jesus I'm sorry uh, you know who you are but uh, um, I don't have permission to mention her name here so I won't but uh, anyway um, it really made me serious about doing stuff for my faith as Jesus has uh, requested we do and as God as the Bible requests we do that we do what we can and I have a little bit of freedom doing handyman work to do such things but interestingly enough that's not what this conversation's about now you can hear by the road traffic this is a busy place and you'll see here in a few minutes what I'm doing But Scott Head was talking about how his hobby is hobbies. And I can fully relate to that because I could say the same thing about myself. But I think a number of years ago, I, I learned a little bit about myself that I found very profound. And it's something that some people fear. And... Uh, I feel very strongly that it's most definitely not something we fear. But a lot of people, a lot of people fear it. And I think that's, it's a shame when people fear what I'm about to mention. Because there's, like a lot of things, there's multiple ways to look at things like this. And that's what I choose to do. I choose to look at things in a more positive light, in a better way, because I don't think that life is all gloom and doom. I don't, I really don't. In fact, despite maybe things that are happening around you that are troublesome, uh, things are in more control than we believe and, and and the fact that we cannot see that sometimes is not an absence of a higher power. It's not an absence of, of God. It's the presence of faith. And it's the presence of looking at something square in the face and believing that God is in control, that God is looking out for us. And that faith in and of itself is the only thing that God requests of us. Now there's a lot of other things about that faith that uh, I think are uh, apparent um, because I know what God has done for me. I do works, I do stuff. When I can get out and make life a little better, I'll do that. Because what God has given me is very exciting. And 
I think it is worth everything in my life that I can possibly do. And so, with that, I'll say one of my hobbies is helping people and just doing what I can to bring joy into people's lives. I think that's a very important part of our Christian faith, to be the light of the world. To be the people, like I said earlier, to be the people that just makes life feel special and worthwhile and makes people feel special. So back to my original thought here. When Scott said in his video that uh, his hobby is hobbies, well, I could possibly say that, I'll admit. But over the years, I've learned a bit about myself and I think it's important to come to the realization that, how's it going? That every single life is not identical. And different people's, different people, their brains work different ways. And I know, I don't know about Scott, but me for one, I am diagnosed with ADHD years ago, decades ago, almost three, de over three decades ago now. I spent a lot of years on Ritalin. I spent a lot of years hiding from my ADHD, but um, <laughs> I learned that my ADHD is not something to hide from. It's a gift from God. And when I figured that out, I was actually, I had my own web development company and it was just me and Mrs. Bowtie, so it wasn't anything huge, but uh, we built websites for small businesses and enjoyed it a lot. But I discovered that thanks to my ADHD, I could write programming code like very few people can. And my most memorable program, I wrote 30,000 lines of code in 30 days, which is a lot of code for those who are not programmers. Uh, that's, that's a lot. That's 10 times more than what's normal. But I was able to work with my brain and figure out how it works, which is why I know in another video, I, I said shame on anyone who says that AD, a diagnosis of ADHD is such a terrible thing. No, it's a gift from God. And um, is something that takes time to learn how to use, what to do with it, just like everything else in life. But it is a gift from God. And there is something there that's magical. Uh, I, I know a fellow who has a, another mental challenge that would typically make him a bit more antisocial. And uh, um, had he been raised in a different environment, but uh, because of his faith, he figured out that no, this mental condition gives him a level of attentiveness. And OCD, I guess, would be another term for that uh, particular um, feature. But the guy's a phenomenal engineer. In fact, he's the guy that all the projects go for inspections before they go out to the field. And that company has, his company, it's not his company, but the company he works for has phenomenal results because of his ability to use his, what <laughs> humans might call a disability and create a superior product. But 
that's a very difficult thing. However, what this leads to is I've discovered I have a very difficult time sticking to one task. Um, I hear stories about my grandfather, uh, my dad's dad, who um, spent many, many years in a career and then retired, and that's the way they used to do that. Uh, and still people do that, but I think these days people realize that there is more ways to do things than just to work a single career. And I know with my mind, I like to work a project, get it done, see the results, and I feel the joy in that. And so, as a, as a uh, result of that, I'm a handyman. And you know, almost every single day I do a different project. Now last week I did one project for six days and that was torture. Uh, six days is a bit long for me. Three days is about my limit. But the reason why there's nothing wrong with that, if everybody on the planet focused on long-term jobs, then none of these small jobs would ever get done. This job right here, this is a small job. This is a tiny job. If I just sat here and did it, it'd take me maybe 15 minutes to do it. But um, this is the kind of thing that my mind thrives on. And so, you know, when it comes to, to mental health from a person who may not have ADHD, looking at a person who does have ADHD that jumps jobs, 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 and I've worked a lot of jobs. I, I literally cannot count the number of jobs I have worked over the years. Uh, but uh, until I found out this about my brain, Boom, I had started my business, I was successful. I still am successful. My handyman business is a thriving. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I really think that uh, God has rewarded my efforts by, by helping me find this success. So anyway, so one of my hobbies is just small projects. And as a handyman, uh, suddenly my business, my job stops being a job and starts being something that just really thrills me. And I find the joy, I stop and I'll find the joy in the projects and, and uh, figure out what I've done and how I've done it and how it's going to brighten the world. And I enjoy that. So there you have it, a little bit about me, a little bit about the things I do. I love figuring things out. I love uh, a new project. I like going in. My, my favorite thing to do is to go into a, somebody's house that has a whole list of maybe four to six things to do, and I have to figure out what to do on this next one. I do have a lot of skills. I've built my own houses, and I've done a bunch of other things, but uh, uh, that just really works with my mind and, and finding how, uh, how my brain works. Sometimes it's not talking, clearly. Uh, sometimes I get hung up on words. Can't think of the right words to say, which is kind of ironic because I'm sitting here making videos on YouTube. Um, but uh, anyway, so if you're in the Destin area here, stop by Christmas Eve. Stop by any service time. But uh, 5 p.m. Christmas Eve, we're doing a uh, the uh, Christmas Eve um, 
candlelight service. So yeah, there you are on some of my hobbies. So this is obviously not our normal format of video. Um, one of those extra things, you know, we, mostly about gardening, but sometimes life. But uh, if, you've, uh, if you've just stumbled across our channel, we talk mostly about gardening and I like gardening and I like learning about what's going on in the garden and how to do things. Uh, if uh, if uh, you find this at all interesting, please click the thumbs up on the video. Entertaining, uh, just downright funny, stupid, whatever. Um, all that, all uh, responses are valid. But uh, if you have a share in the description, if you if uh, you want to put in the comments below, what do you do off season when you're not gardening, uh, and uh, fill your time? How do you keep your mind busy? That's something big for me is keeping my mind busy. Um, but uh, if you have uh, already subscribed to the channel, welcome back. As I should have said at the beginning, um, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Bowtie Life. Don't miss any of the videos that we have coming up. And uh, share with friends on social media when you feel so compelled. We appreciate all the help. Uh, we're trying to grow our small community here. And uh, there you go. So all that being said, appreciate you watching along and have a blessed day.